So now in this video, we're going to take uh, this solar charge controller and uh, connect it to the battery. That is the uh, first step you want to do when you have uh, solar charge controllers. Solar charge controllers typically have one or two uh, USB outputs right there. So this is one way we can get USB power from a 12 volt battery that is uh, portable without uh, having as much risk to the battery. When it comes to connecting our wires, this particular solar charge controller has a sliding cover there. We got a screwdriver there for the screws. You can see that is for the solar or we could use other uh, regulated uh, DC input right there. And then the battery, so those are closed almost all the way. That one's about halfway uh, tightened down. And then that one's uh, opened up about as much as you can. And we have those two closed. So we have the uh, screws there. And adjusting the lighting, you should be able to see the plus and the minus a little easier for each of those three options. Since this is just for low power applications, we have a relatively small battery. And as I said before, we're just kind of looking at the USB right now. We're just going to use a 16 gauge wire there. And as long as I can uh, cover uh, this gap, we should have enough wires for uh, twists and turns to keep them close to each other. I got my automatic uh, wire cutter right there. Just slide it again. Again, we have plenty of wire with uh, this much there. And then we'll do the same thing with the uh, black wire. So I'll try to get them about uh, the same length. We'll lose a little bit in the process there. So I added a little extra and we have our second wire. And then this tool also automatically strips off the insulation. So I have it set to the lowest setting right there. And all we have to do is insert it and squeeze. Very easy right there. And the wires I ended up with look like they aren't long enough. So we don't want the wires to uh, touch the terminals and then each other. So I'm being careful here. The terminals are covered though. That helps a lot. But in any case, you can see they don't go to that uh, middle point, which uh, we want them. So I ended up just making uh, much longer ones right here and S shape. So you can see that we got quite a bit of uh, flexibility right there. I just got a, a new connector kit, has uh, quite a bit of variety right there. The red connectors, you connect these two wires, are for a smaller wire, so I use that for my 22 gauge wire. The blue connectors for medium size wire, so I use that for the 16 gauge wire. And then in the last video I showed I have a 12 gauge wire, and that's what these larger yellow connectors are going to be for. The terminals of the battery are male spade right there so we have a female spade connector right there and it is a uh, really tight fit maybe it's because these are cheap or whatever but i kind of loosened up the uh, female spade right there with a uh, flat screwdriver and uh, then i slid it on and off a little bit to kind of loosen it up right there so the uh, solar charge controller as we saw it's mostly round other than the uh, screw which is uh, flat so i just grabbed a bullet connector right there which is round and should make a decent connection and I just realized we got this uh, spade uh, cover right there that I don't want to lose. So instead of just the uh, female spade connector, I have a, a piggyback connector right there. So it's female with the male on it. And I have slid this on and off a few times so it slides a lot easier. But we have a place to uh, put this connector as long as I put it in the right way. Now the uh, other connectors in the wire I put into a bag. I'm going to do that with uh, everything small so I don't lose it while I'm in the build process. So now to uh, crimp the wire on, we want uh, the opening right there, and uh, this is for the uh, 16 gauge, 14 to uh, 18, and we got the open side over here, and I had to uh, unbend this a little bit. So we want to make sure that we put this in the right direction, since it's upside down, the uh, connector, we're putting the wire the opposite way. So I got to slide it through, and you can see that uh, we got some wire there. So with this one... You just keep squeezing down and it will release once you squeeze down all the way and hopefully we have a good connection and uh, we can we do I can pull pretty good and you can see two dots right there with this crimping tool if you start ratcheting it but for some reason you need to open it you can't close it all the way you can just press that lever right there that will release it and here we can see I uh, crimped it uh, wrong but we can still uh, fix the wire here, and now we are uh, set up pretty good. And of course, I just repeat the process after a few times. After I crimp the spade, make sure the wire is in the right direction. 
it doesn't matter if the uh, bullet is upside down or not and of course do the same thing with the black wire get the spade on make sure the wires in the right direction and then put the bullet on and now one of the worst things we could do is have these uh, two connectors touch each other once the battery is connected so we're gonna put them into the solar charge controller first and the screwdriver is uh, in the slot for this particular one right there pretty straightforward we just insert it and uh, screw it down right there and we already have a good connection and now that I got them both uh, screwed down you can see there's no way for them to come into contact with each other and we can just slip on the uh, female spade part of the uh, piggyback to both sides here and you can see that we have battery power there and uh, that should give us the accurate uh, battery voltage I already put the uh, screwdriver back into the solar charge controller so now I'm gonna put the uh, cover back on all right so now when it comes to uh, battery type I think that's thinking that it is sealed lead acid so I don't know for sure how we change this so uh, kinda looked at the instructions so maybe long hold that or there we go so I want uh, lithium phosphate and let's see the instructions here yeah this is a lithium iron phosphate right there that's the setting and after a little while it started uh, cycling like it did before and now we have some additional USB backup power right there based on the capacity of the battery there and so I'm just going to use it to quickly recharge this power bank uh, so that we have a less charged battery for uh, future videos but uh, in any case of course you can expand a lot more with the uh, charge uh, controller but we're going to keep this video simple so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i post on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video